What's up, everybody? It's Rick, and welcome to Snake RX. Uh, we're in this for another episode, and uh, as of the day I'm recording this, there is something weird going on with Snake RX. I've checked the patch notes, and it says that there haven't been any updates for like eight days. But I noticed when I got into the game that things are different, okay? Uh, I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about real quick while I pick my starting lineup. Uh, so we've got our Saboteur, we've got our Sage, we've got our Cleric. I'll go ahead and pick the Saboteur and the Cleric, okay? The Cleric specifically, because now the Cleric's different. I was playing this last night. The Cleric was the Cleric that we know and love, which heals 20% max health when a uh, party member drops below 50%. Now, the healer creates healing orbs. Interesting. All right, so let's go ahead and see what this is all about now, because this is something totally different. All right, so it's just my saboteur and my cleric hanging out together, getting stuff done. See, there we go. Got a healing orb now. So now, rather than just heal 20% of max health when they drive below 50%, now these healing orbs spawn. I don't know how I feel about this yet. On the one hand, I like that the cleric sort of just auto heals. And it's sort of hands-off, we don't need to go finding things. But on the other hand, the cleric will just keep spawning these healing orbs. And eventually, they'll just be scattered all over the map for us. We'll see how this plays out. Okay, now we've got a gambler. Deal two times damage. If we have gold, but you know what? That's only dependent on if we have gold. We're not going to get the gambler. We've got the scout and the magician. I'm just going to go ahead and stick with the saboteur and the cleric that we have right now. And what I'm hoping to find is maybe a merchant as well. So the Cleric isn't the only change in the game, and like I said, since there's no patch notes, I don't know what other changes to expect, but what I have noticed in my short time playing this, since I noticed this, I'm gonna call it a Phantom update, uh, the Vagrant has changed as well. So the Vagrant used to be a uh, sort of a hybrid of three different classes, now it's just a hybrid of two different classes, but one of those classes seems to be a new class called the Explorer class. Now, I don't know what to expect from the Explorer class because I haven't seen a whole lot else as far as Explorers are concerned, but it's very interesting to say the least. Uh, I'm going to sort of use this episode as just an exploration of what sort of changes this update might hold in store for us, but look at this. The Cleric, you can just see all of these healths that are spawned everywhere now. Which is really nice because if I don't need the health, traditionally the cleric in its old old build just wouldn't heal us. But now, you know, I've got health all over the level. So, like, potentially, if I did get wounded, I could just go pick up a bunch of these healing orbs and heal myself back up to full. I've already got another cleric here for us. We've got the Bane as well, Cursor and Voider. Um... And the scout, okay, these classes seem to be the same. Nothing seems to have changed here. I'll go ahead and buy a cleric for one, roll into this hard stage with my two clerics and my saboteur. And the cleric's level three ability now is still party hill, but it still spawns the healing orbs. But I believe what'll happen when we get to level three is the healing orbs will heal the entire party rather than just individual party members. It's very cool, and I'm super excited to see how this will work out. Because I think in the long run, this will be an improvement, and honestly, in the long run, this might be a OP improvement. Because you can see how frequently we're spawning these healing orbs, and if I'm not taking damage, Particularly early on, if I've got a, a level that has, say, 10 waves, and the first 5 waves I just don't take damage, then the level's just going to be chock-a-block full of these orbs that I can just go clean up and get myself back up to full health. So I'm just going to, you know what? Oh, jeez. There we go. I'm going to have to rely on ramming these guys now. But that's okay. Because I've got my healing orbs, right? Boom. Healing orb. Healing orb. No problem. There we go. Just gonna bop you around there, buddy. And bop you too. Get out of here, green boy. We got one more wave to deal with after this. No problem. Because I've got all these healing orbs. It's all good, baby. No sweat. Now, obviously, I'm gonna have to use brute strength against these guys. Which isn't ideal, but you know what? We'll just run around the stage and pick up our orbs. No big deal. See, what's nice about this is now 
we don't need to wait until we get below 50% to heal ourselves. We can just go ahead and heal immediately. There we go. But this is going to take a minute now because I've got to heal up between bashes. But this guy is just about dead, so let me see if I can't... There we go. Finish him off. I had to play the hero and just go headstrong into the enemies with my saboteur. A little bit silly of me, but you know what? It's fine. I think that we'll be able to overcome our challenges here. Let me kite these guys away from that health. Whoa. Excuse me, everybody. Let me finish off this guy now. Go down the underside. Whoop. There we go. And another healing orb. Ooh, yeah. Bopped you. Another healing orb. Woo! All right. Yeah, so I, I'm really eager to explore this Explorer class a little bit more. Um, yeah, there's so little info on this game to begin with. I found that a good resource is actually in the... Um, the Steam guides within the game. If uh, you go to the Snake RX guides that are on Steam, they're full of some pretty helpful information, but obviously that information is out of date now that the game has been updated. And I'm yeah, I'm surprised that there's no info on this update. And I thought that maybe I was just kind of out of my mind a little bit. It's like there's no way that there's just been some sneaky update that there's no info for. But I went I went looking around to see if there's any info on any Explorer class that I just somehow was unaware of in my, like, 10 hours of playing this game. And, yeah, there's no info on any kind of an Explorer class. So it, it's all new stuff, man. It's all new. Okay, and we've got ourselves Flying Daggers. That's all projectiles thrown by Rogues. Chain. Uh, Death 6, which... By the way, I still don't know what the deal with Death 6 is, and I've looked on the guides on Steam, and people still seem baffled by Death 6. It just seems like a bad thing. There's a couple things I guess it'll synergize with, but broadly, it's just bad. And then Defensive Stance. I'm going to go ahead and get Flying Daggers, which means that now we're going to try to build on our onto our Rogue. And look at this, we have a couple Saboteurs. It'd be silly if we didn't grab those. And now let's just go. Let's just go. So I'm going to need to get one or two rogue classes now to synergize with that flying dagger that I just picked up. And as long as we don't do anything silly like kill our saboteur, then this shouldn't take too long. That last level obviously took way longer than it should have. And that was a hard level too, I believe. So a hard level combined with the fact that I sort of did our saboteur in way prematurely just dragged things out for us but yeah I definitely need a partner right now for my cleric and my saboteur because in the long run this just isn't gonna work the saboteur's attacks while they're pretty great are just so friggin slow that I'm going to need to have some extra firepower added to our team there we go now let's see if maybe we can find some good stuff to add onto our snake. Swordsman, Arcanist, Swordsman. I'm not thrilled about these. I'm going to go one more round with just my Saboteur. And then we're going to have to make a choice. Because we're going to have to fight the Elite. And I'm not going to fight the Elite with just my Saboteur. Though I am interested to see what the effect of having this new Cleric build is going to have on the Elite battles. It could totally shake things up. We've already got three little healing orbs on the screen that I'm just never going to use. Come on, everybody. Group up. Let me... There we go. Hit you. You know what? We've got the healing orbs. I'm just going to go ahead and Go hard on you guys. Going hard. 
Boom, boom. There we go. Just keep healing up. Boom, boom. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Who's got time to wait? Not this guy. Now just green guys gotta go. You're out of here. All right. So now we've got the elite fight coming up, but what choices do we have in the shop? Ooh, another cleric. Grab you. Archer and Jester, huh? So the Jester obviously is part of the rogue class, and uh, the knives, will that count as my item here? By the way, I realized I can upgrade the items in the shop. I can pay to upgrade them. So there, now we just upgraded this. Um, the entire time I was like, how do you upgrade this? Look, the guide taught me you can upgrade them in the shop. So I just upgraded that right there uh, to level two. So now that's going to chain three times. And it does say all projectiles thrown by rogues. Does this count as being thrown by rogues? I don't know if it does, quite honestly. I'm going to buy both of these because after this elite fight, if we survive, I can just sell them back. Nothing lost. So we're not doing a tremendous amount of damage to this elite yet. Let's go get some healing orbs for our guys. There we go. Oh, just missed that healing orb. Go get this one. There we go. And another healing orb. Okay, how's the elite doing on health now? Come on, show me the elite's health. There we go. Okay. It's about 60% now. Oh, jeez. Ooh, took some big hits there. Big hits. The tricky thing about the orbs is that you have to pick them up, and sometimes you do a bad pass on them, and you don't actually grab them, which is a little annoying. Okay, we are getting pretty weak now. Okay, but the elite is about at 20% now. There we go, there we go. Good job, Saboteur, doing some good damage here. We need to go pick up some of this health, huh? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, just lost that bit. You know what? It's fine. I think that we can still win. There we go. We've got one extra wave to contend with, though, which is annoying. Because we are pretty low on health. Woo! That was close. That was close. But you know what? It did the trick. And what do we got? Explosive arrows, fracture, and call of the void. Um, I don't know what I... When enemies hit walls, they explode into projectiles. That could be good for my saboteur. Ranger arrows have a chance to deal and then anyway, I'm going to get the fracture because that will pair well with my saboteur. Um, and what are we going to do now? What are we going to do? We've got Psy Keeper, Hunter, and Magician. Let's reroll. Magician Merchant. You know what? I'm going to grab the Merchant. Help us get some monies now. And reroll one time. You know... Got a lot of magicians there. A lot of magicians. But I am not in the mood to take magicians on right now. Okay, we got one of these orange guys. Orange guys are the worst. Not a huge fan. They can one-hit us so easily. The orange guys. Okay, get that orb. When the orbs are right on the wall, it's kind of annoying. <clears throat> Actually, you know what? I thought the saboteur... The saboteur actually doesn't have force. I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking about a, another round where I played as the Juggernaut. The Juggernaut does have force. If I were to get the Juggernaut, that would be pretty boss. I should be on the lookout for a Juggernaut, actually. Yeah, I was talking like... Our saboteur would be able to do the trick. But you know what? It looks like our knives are giving some good forcing, so... That's helpful. Okay, this is the last wave? Okay, we've done it. We've done, did it. Not bad. And we got three interests on that. Okay, so we've got an archer here. You know, I'm not going to do the archer. Beastmaster and eh, spawn squitters. That could synergize well with a few things. I'm going to re-roll a couple times. We've got our elder cleric here. Do I want my jester here? Um, you know, I'll take the jester for now. All right, we'll roll with it. We've kind of got a hodgepodge of a snake at the moment. Kind of an aimless build a little bit, but uh, hopefully 
We can have something a little bit more focused here soon. Okay, this orange guy's definitely gonna charge at me. Yep, here it comes. Oh, jeez. Ooh, we killed it just in time. Thank you, Saboteur. I thought one of our party members was gonna be done for, for sure. Oh, took a little bit of a bump there. That's okay. We'll go get some of these healing orbs here in a moment. And we got ourselves a shooter over there, too. Okay, let's go get some healing orbs. Healing orb, healing orb, all right. Give me the orb. All right, last wave. So the current build that we have is totally adequate for what we need to do. I mean, it's getting the job done. But I would like something that's a little bit more effective and efficient. The job's getting done, but it's a little bit on the slow side for me, quite honestly. Uh, Thief throws a knife that deals 26 damage and chain, chains five times, plus the flying dagger. That could be really good. I'm going to grab the thief and probably drop the jesters. <clears throat> Uh, what else do we have? Let's reroll a couple times. Uh, we've got another cleric. I'll pick that up. Okay, and we'll save the money that we have now so that we can earn some more interest. Okay, so this is a hard stage. Honestly, I'm kind of thinking now, maybe we should have just kept the Jester. That could have paired well with my Thief, but you know what? It's fine. It's fine. I might actually upgrade our uh, passive. Oh, jeez. Okay, we are dropping gold on the screen, so we gotta look at that gold as it drops. Give me the gold. Now we gotta pick up gold, and we gotta pick up healing orbs. So there's gold right down here. Thank you for the gold. And, oop. Got that gold. Cool. Let's go get some healing orbs. Do another healing orb right up here. Don't mind if I do. Oh, jeez. Really? Got the gold. There we go. Okay. So, how much gold? Oh, let's see here. Um, Psycho Sense. This... I've never seen Psycho Sense before. Plus 33, 66, 99% orb range. I don't have any orbs at the moment. Max curse targets to all allied cursors. Um, ooh, this could be good. So right now, my curse that I have is... Nope, I don't have the curse anymore. I sold the curse. I'm going to take Maldiction. I regret selling the character that had the curses, and now I need more curses. Um, upgrading our merchant is kind of pointless, I think. Uh, if I do actually upgrade, it will be a higher chance to drop gold. So you know what? Let's get that. Um... And then we've got the Usura here, which is, you know what? This is a curse. Curse is nearby. This is actually really good. The Usura is really good. Dealing 13 damage per second. Doing some dot damage could be really good for us. Uh, now, I want to upgrade the, there we go. Now we got three. There are five. I upgraded that to the max, all right? Uh, and as far as this chaining... I'll wait to upgrade that, all right? Now, let's play around with you, sir, now. Which is going to curse and... Curse with crippling debt, by the way, which is just a nightmare. Like, that's just so mean. That is a real-world problem. A real-world nightmare that I'm sure keeps a lot of people up at night. All right? Oh, and it seems to be doing a number. I dig it. Being able to upgrade... Our passive to curse more enemies too is super good. I've got all this money chilling. Got to go pick it up. Almost too much money on the screen to deal with. Oh geez, orange guy flew right at us. Let's go get this money before the stage ends. There we go. Oh, we have another wave. I really thought that that was the last part of it. Okay. Okay, so we got 13 plus five. We got five extra gold that round, and I can definitely have some more snake pieces here. Um, it's level 11, and I've, I've only got six party members at the moment. Uh, I'm not super stoked on my archer. Um, Barrager, on the other hand, would be way better. 
and also Hunter. I mean, both of these would be better than my Archer. Uh, I'm going to sell my Archer, and then I'll grab both of these for now, okay? Um, Arcanist? No, we're good without the Arcanist, all right? Let's go. So far, the Vagrant is the only party member, the only character that I've seen that has anything to do with this Explorer class, by the way, which is very interesting to me. Um, it couldn't be the only character that is that has an Explorer class, could it? That would be kind of weird. Okay, we got a lot of orange guys in this stage. There we go. We're making quick work of them, though. Thank goodness. Okay, let's go grab some gold. I love gold. Give me the gold. Oh, watch it, watch it, watch it. We got a tank over here that's forcing enemies at us. Okay, and we've got one more wave. There we go. A little bit of gold over there. Let's go grab it. There we go. Free gold is so nice. So, oh, cleric level up for sure. Now we've got dual gunner as well. Um, there we go. Dual gunner. Because we're playing uh, New Game Plus, we can actually have a bigger snake than usual. So now I've got uh, Dual Gunner, Hunter, and Barrager. I kind of feel like we need an upgrade for arrows now. Uh, Scout, Vagrant. Again, the Explorer class. Attack speed and damage per active set to allied explorers. Um, I haven't seen anybody else that has the Explorer trait. Uh, there's another merchant here. And let's see. If I were to get another merchant, I believe I would increase the chance of gold, I think. So let's see. Um... Maybe I need one more. It says two of four. Okay. Corrupter as well. Shoots an arrow that deals damage. Spawn three critters have killed. Okay, let's reroll a couple times. Outlaw here. Beastmaster. Um, saboteur. Upgrade. Cleric. Upgrade. Merchant. Okay, I'm going to buy that. So... Merchant. Okay, it still says two of four. Um, oh, you know what I need? I need more mercenary classes. That's why. So I'm kind of... Okay, what I'm going to do is actually... Oh, God, I sold all of my merchants back. That was that was silly. Uh, I only wanted to sell two. But, oh, jeez. Now I need another merchant. Oh, Rick, you foolish fool. Uh, I can get my jester back. You know what? I'm going to get the jester back. Because that will pair well. And... Okay, since I don't have my merchant, the interest is kind of pointless, you know? Uh, there's another hunter. There's my merchant. Okay. Wait. Oh, I can't bring the merchant because I have too many party members. Oh, Rick. You freaking idiot. Um, so what are we going to drop, huh? You know what? I'm going to drop... Oh, jeez. I need to drop something. I need to drop something. I'm going to drop... The dual gunner? No. Every third attack, the barrages shoot 15 projectiles and they push harder. Uh, this is also good. You know what? We're just not going to roll with the merchant. You know? It's fine. We've got actually a pretty good build now. We've, we've got our money's worth out of the merchant. So, yeah. Merchant, we're just not going to use you right now, okay? There we go. This build's working pretty well for us. We are wrecking this elite. Absolutely wrecking it. Okay. We're getting wrecked a little bit, though, now. But that's okay. We've got one more wave to clean up. There we go. All right. I don't know why that was such a hard choice for me to make. Just get rid of the merchant. Okay. What do we got? Echo Barrage. Okay, that's uh, AoE's resonance. That is uh, all AoE attacks deal extra damage per unit. Oh, position 5 shoots 3 projectiles per second. I'm going to do that one. So the barrage is going to shoot extra projectiles. And what do we got? Um, Reroll a few times and see if we can't get some upgrades here. 
Uh, another Barrager, sure. Another Cleric, absolutely. We're almost to level 3 Cleric, which is exciting. Another Dual Gunner, take you. Oh, there we go. Level 3 Cleric. Yes, y'all. Mass heals are now in effect. I love it. Let's go. Yes, mass heals. Oh, it's so good. Especially when the healing orbs are all on this side of the map, then I can just run over here and grab them. Oh, yes. Between waves, just go and heal up. This is so good. So good. Okay. I'm really liking this cleric change. I gotta be honest. I'm curious to know what you guys are thinking about this cleric change. There we go. Just healing up the party so well. Oh, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at this. Look at this go. Oh, yes. Oh, and we've got gold. I totally forgot that we actually have a mercenary class, which means that we're still going to drop gold. So, though we're not going to earn the interest that we did before, we are still dropping gold. So, let's go pick up that stuff. Oh, yes. Okay, cool. Um, Now, we're going to do a reroll. Okay, dual gunner, upgrade you. Juggernaut here, but you know what? We've already got a pretty good build at the moment. Uh, we've actually almost got a full rogue set. If I get two other rogues, then we could have the full rogue set. Um, I would have to get rid of some stuff, though, obviously. Uh, get the jester there. I mean, this... No, that's a nuker. I was like, is this a rogue? No, that's a nuker. Okay. Let's go ahead and reroll here now. Okay, I'm, I'm really digging the build. Uh, it's working pretty well for us now, but you know what? All it takes is one or two bad runs in order to completely ruin what we think is an amazing build. Like, if all of these waves spawn in areas that are completely inconvenient for us to go and grab the healing orbs, that could be troublesome. But so far, so good. We got orbs all over the freaking place. Oh, yeah, and money's all over the place. Honestly, so much money, it's hard to actually go and get it all. Look at all of the healing orbs that we've got, though. So many healing orbs. Area cleared. Oh my gosh, look at all this gold that we're going to miss out on. So much extra gold. So much extra gold. Uh, okay, so what do we got now? We've got all this extra gold to spend. Hunter. Um, oh, come on. There we go. Saboteur. And Barrager. Okay. Uh, Reroll Jester. Okay, we'll call it there. That's pretty good. We've got level 15. This is a hard level. Let's see if we've got the skills to pay the bills on this one. So far, so good. There's a lot happening on screen, obviously, so we're going to have to sort of really squint our eyes and pay attention because it's going to be easy to miss, like, a blue exploder coming in or these uh, shooters shooting their little turrets and me not noticing. But so far, my goodness, we are actually wrecking face pretty hard here. Let's grab this gold. And any extra gold. I think we're doing a pretty good job farming it all right now. It would be nice to have magnetism, actually. Just automatically suck up the gold between rounds. Up! Oh. Up! Oh. Went a little bit too hard on that one. It's okay. That was the last wave. Okay, oh, one more gold. Can I get it? Uh, there's magnetism, actually. We were just speaking about that. Um, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to get magnetism. It may seem like a waste, but I'm going to do it. So let's go ahead and see here real quick, because I can upgrade a few things, actually. Um, this is already upgraded. And then I can upgrade this flying daggers, too. So the flying daggers chain. And if I look here, this changed five times right now. Now, I can increase that. Um, there we go. It's expensive, obviously. Now it's going to change... Nine times. Five plus four. I'll take the saboteur and the dual gunner. All right, let's do it again. You know, I don't want to... Uh... Oh, my God. It works on the healing, too. Oh, my God. Magnetism works on all orbs. Oh, my gosh. This is incredible. I have to be within range, obviously, but this is so freaking good. I'm really glad I grabbed magnetism now. I was just doing it for the gold. But I stayed for the healing orbs. Oh, yes. Okay. Like, 
Like, I didn't even read the uh, fine print on the magnetism because I just assumed, oh, it works with gold. But we now we've got a we've got a new orb in town, baby. And it's the healing orb. Grab the gold. Yep, got that gold. Plus nine gold. We are really making some really good gold out of this. Um, it makes me very happy. So, Jester, there we go. What do we got so far? There we go, Dual Gunner. We've got quite a few things that are leveling up pretty well here. Uh, not a whole lot of level 3s yet, obviously. Just the Cleric at level 3. But a lot of things that are getting really close to level 3. And we're on level 17 right now. So I'm feeling pretty good about... Oh, jeez. I just ran right into that Exploder. That was silly. That was silly. That was sloppy. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. So much gold. And so many orbs. Oh, watch out. We got exploders. So, the party heal, by the way. So, I was just assuming when I was picking up our orbs that it was healing the party, but it definitely is not. And I need to read the fine print on the party heal now because it doesn't seem as though we are party healing. We may be spawning more orbs, and maybe that's what... Yeah, it spawns four orbs. I do know that. But as far as the party heal goes, I think that that's all it means. Is it just spawns more orbs. I assume that the orbs that we were picking up were healing the party, but I don't think that that's the case. I think we're just spawning more orbs. And you know what? That's fine. I just wanted to make sure that I had a better understanding of what was happening. Oh, jeez. There we go. Oop, whoop, whoop. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Okay, that was the last wave. We done did it. Okay, fan freaking tastic I am... Totally digging these changes, y'all. Uh, can you tell how excited I am to keep playing this? Oh my gosh. By the way, I mentioned this before, but this game is only three bucks. If you have been watching this and you enjoy watching this and you haven't played it yet, for the love of God, go buy the game, all right? I'm sure you've got $3 laying around. Go check it out, all right? Give this game some love because it was definitely worth it. <laughs> when it first released, and now it's especially worth it with the updates that this game is getting. Like, it is getting so much love, it's constantly getting patched. Um, what is not to like about this amazing roguelite? Okay, and we are just wrecking this elite so well. But the round ain't over yet, obviously. Let's go heal ourselves up. Oh, jeez. Just lost another segment. But that's okay, because this guy is just about gone. There we go. We defeated the elite. Okay. Holy crap. And now we get uh, Psyker Orbs. Um, I don't have Psykers. Um, Chronomancy. That, I don't have Mages. Kinetic Bomb. When an ally dies, it explodes, launching enemies away. We'll take that one, because that's the only thing that's going to do any good for us right now. Take that Jester Unlock here, and ooh, Thief and Hunter. Saboteur and Barrager. Oh my gosh, you guys, we're actually getting lucky. With these rolls, really, really lucky. We just leveled up our Saboteur to level 3. The explosion has 50% chance to crit, increasing in size and dealing 2 times damage. Let's go. Level 19. We're two levels away from 21, and I've discussed it in the past. 21 is the Widowmaker. It is a very tough level, um, traditionally. But like I said, traditionally, and tradition's kind of gone out the window with this update, right? So we'll see if things have changed for us. Maybe level 21 just ain't nothing but a thing. All right? Oh my gosh, because look at this. We are just myrtleizing these waves. They come in, and then they instantly check out. Okay. That uh, tank did just use its little force power on us, which was annoying. Get out of here, tank. You stinking tank. Okay, that was a pathetic wave. Just a bunch of little red guys coming in from the quarters. No problem there. But, you know, we do have that tank, which is going to use its force ability on us. We're going to need to be careful. Take out the ad so it doesn't have things to throw at us. Up oh, there we go. Just threw that at us. Okay, let's go get some health. There we go. Heal us up. These tanks, man, they are friggin' tanky. 
Give me the health. And also the gold. Watch the orange guy. Watch the orange guy. He's going to be bursting at us. Yep, there we go. Crap. Took out my saboteur. Okay, one more wave to go, though. See if we can take out. There we go. The freaking tank there. Okay, we've got several orange guys following us, which is terrifying. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Though We've got this. Now it's just a couple of tanks and a couple of orange guys, but you know what? Oh, jeez. We've got it. We've got this. We've got this. There we go. One tank left. Oh, and that's the way you handle that. Arena cleared. Uh, we made more money picking up gold than we did just standard. I really like having a mercenary with us. Uh, okay, now we are not finding everything that we need, but you know what? There we go. Every so often we do find something, and that's fine. We have two level threes. Okay, our thief is just... Our thief and you, sir, are way far away from leveling up. But we're one hunter away from leveling this to three. Two barragers away from leveling this. So, we're on track. Are we going to have everybody leveled up by the end? Probably not, but you know what? We're going to come damn near close to it. Okay, eight waves on this one. And then we've got the hard level, which is 21. Okay, we'll see how we do on that one. Woo! Yeah, I'm loving the rogue build. So, I mentioned that we had uh, four of the six rogue classes. I would like to finish or get a full set of rogues and, uh, you know, beat the game with it because there are achievements and I would really like to do some episodes where I try and accomplish the achievements, you know, have full set of rogues, full set of mages, all that kind of stuff. That could be a lot of fun. And uh, I'm doing the New Game Plus 1, but there are, I think, I think you can go up to New Game Plus 5. And with each New Game Plus, you can add on additional snake segments and make the snake longer and longer and longer. Obviously, that comes with complications. It seems like that would just be a no-brainer. The game would get easier, but no, the longer the snake, the easier it is to get hit. And also, you have to spread the love amongst all of these segments. Which is to say, when you have seven snake parts, it takes less money to level them all up to level three, right? But keep adding parts on there, and then it just becomes harder and harder to finance your snake. So... It doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be easier. It's going to be a bit of a balancing act. Ooh, you guys, my hunter just leveled up. How about that? And now we're on to level 21. This is the make or break level. Dual gunner, though, we just had a lot of good upgrades there. A lot of good upgrades. Let's see if we have what it takes to get past level 21. Okay, off to a good start so far. And having that hunter upgraded is great, because look at that, we actually send out three pets now when we send out pets, which is really, really helpful. Okay, we got an orange guy back there, but we took it out. No sweat. Okay, we're almost to the halfway point of this level. There we go. Five waves done, five waves to go. Up oh, on to wave six here. And we took out that orange nerd like no freaking problem. And look at this. The pets are doing an amazing job because we do have the passive, which explodes the enemies when they hit the walls. And since these pets are doing such an amazing job of flinging these enemies all over the place, we're making this look pretty easy. We did just lose one of our segments. But you know what? I think that we're, we're fine. I think that things are fine here. We've got plenty of health still chilling around the place. Orange guy was trying to charge up at us, but that's not going to happen. Wave 9 of 10. Okay, this wave is a little bit... There we go. A little tricksy, but... Nope. Nope. No problems. Okay, lots of orange guys here charging up. Oh my goodness! Did you see that? One of our segments just exploded and sent everybody flying. That was clutch. All right, lasting seven. Position seven will stay alive for 10 seconds. That's my dual gunner. Awakening, attack speed and damage for every mage. We don't have mages. We'll take the Ouroboros Technique L when we spin to the left. We'll uh, gain 
Uh, defense. Okay, so we got our your sir now to level two. Um, let's just scroll through here and see if we've got... Ooh, Barrager and Dual Gunner. Ooh, they are so close to level three, y'all. So close. Okay. On to level 22. Let's do... So we have not... We're not out of the woods just yet, but you know what? We're close. All right? Because that... Level 21 was a real test of our capabilities moving forward. And you know what? It was a pretty good test. It was a, su a successful test run. I think we did pretty great. We rose to the challenge. There we go. And now I can't forget about our L technique, Ouroboros technique L, where we just spin in circles. I can use that if we need to. Like if a bunch of enemies are flying at us, spin to the left. Like that. There we go. Defense up, baby. Oh, yes, okay. Rap. Wave eight. Oh, geez. We did just lose a segment. That's not great. Spin to the left, spin to the left. There we go. Need to go get some heals now. Heals, heals, heals. Heals, heals, heals. Gold, gold, gold. Okay, we've got a tank here. Don't like seeing those. Let's take it out. There we go. Okay, this level has all of the waves, but we are on wave 10. Okay, there we go. Let's get away from this wave if we can. Put some distance between us and the enemies. There we go. Get all of the heals. Wow, there's a lot happening right now. Lots happening. That tank is getting bounced all over the freaking place. Oh, we got uh, gold up here. Let's go grab it. Oh, God, I'm bouncing all over the freaking place. Okay, this is the last wave, though. Oh, we've got this. We've got this in the bag. Let's just go grab my heals. I think that we gathered all of the... How much gold did we get that time? 19 gold. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Can we get lucky, though, with these rolls? Jester. Okay, Jester just level three there. All knives seek enemies and pierce two times. Ooh, Barrager is now level three. Uh, every third attack, the Barrage shoots 15 projectiles. That is pretty great. Uh, now we're getting nothing. Look at this. Nothing, nothing, nothing. There we go. Dual Gutter is now level three. Oh, my gosh, you guys. We have two segments that are not level three now. The Usur and the Thief. And I'll be honest, the chances of us leveling those up are probably pretty slim. But even if we don't, you know what? We're in a really good place. Because this is the snake that the mercenary built for us. Honestly, the... Kudos, go! Congratulations to... Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Look at how many arrows my barrage are shooting. But, like, special uh, accommodations, I guess, go to um, the cleric and the mercenary in this build, honestly. It's just... It's so freaking good. Being able to get all that extra money and this cleric with all of the heals... Especially being able to level it up to level 3 so early on. That was pretty big for us. Okay, we've got orange guys charging up. Oh god, I meant to spin to the left. There we go. Um, we have taken some hits. Not great. There we go. Let's oop, get away from you guys. Let's go get some orbs. Do some left spins here for a while. Me more heals, thank you. There we go. I'm just gonna sit and spin. Just sit and spin for a while. Okay, now let's go get some gold and some heals. Look at all of the gold all over the level. It's redonkulous. Absolutely amazing. Okay, wave 10 of 14. Get out of here, you, sh you shooter Mc McGavin. Those pets just wrecked that tank's face. Oh my gosh. You, are you guys seeing what's happening right now? I have a smile on my face that's just ear to ear. 
because when things work out in this game, they really work out. There have been so many runs that I've had that have just com been complete garbage. Complete failures that have just made me feel like, oh my gosh, I've wasted so much time playing this game. Oh, but this one, this one, y'all, it's just, it's, I'm tickled pink. Look at how much money we just earned. So much money. So much money. Uh, but it's not gonna mean anything if we can't find the parts that we need. Look at this. This is ridiculous. I mean, I am only looking for two things. It's like a needle in a haystack, but I can't believe I haven't found any of those yet. Wow. We had 70... What was that? 72 gold at the start of that? And we didn't find a single piece that we needed? That is disappointing. You know what? Sometimes you're going to be disappointed. And considering the lack of disappointment that this game has had for us during this run, I can't really be too upset there, can I? I really can't. Okay, as long as there aren't enemies for this uh, elite to charge, then really we, we are taking away its power. And my goodness, we are just wrecking this fool. See, it only had one enemy to charge at us. Holy crap. We just made that elite look like a freaking dum-dum. We just marched in there and walked all over its face. Uh, heavy impact. When enemies hit walls, they take damage based on the knockback force. Blessing. Healing effectiveness. That is pretty great. But also, ranger arrows have 10, 20, 30% chance of knockback. Um, the knockback would be so good because of the wall explosions. Uh, I'm going to do the blunt arrow because our healing, honestly, has been pretty good for us so far. And then I'm going to upgrade this to 30%. All right. Roll a couple more times. This is the last battle for us. Hey, we did get that up to level two. Um, okay, and that's going to be the last time we can shop here. Here we go, level 25. Okay. Oh, lots of enemies. Here we go, just do our spin. Get away from me, you silly elite. I need to get to the other side of the screen here. There we go. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Let's spin to the left. Okay, we did just lose a segment. But hang in there. Hang in there. Hang in there. Hang in there. Let's go get some heals. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, the elite is so close to dead, though. Okay, there we go. The elite is dead. Okay, now we just got to withstand this last wave, which I think we've got. We've got this. We've got this. We've got this. Okay. There you go, guys. And we did it. That was New Game Plus with the new update. So stoked to beat that. Uh, that was my first run on this update, too, all right? I did, not, I did not play any other games short of logging in and noticing the changes, which then I immediately restarted because I wanted to record it and show it off for you guys. But, um... I'm curious to see what the other changes are. As far as I could tell, it was a change to the Vagrant and a change to the Cleric. I didn't notice any glaring differences other than that, uh, but let me know what you guys thought of that, all right? Um, and if you guys uh, have any tips, let me know down in the comments as well. Uh, but that's where we're gonna wrap up. <laughs> Thank you uh, for watching. If you enjoyed this, I hope you guys did. Let me know by giving a like, sharing, subscribing, all that good stuff, and come back next time. I'll see you guys then.